Hey guys, welcome back with a new adventure poetry in Mosan about Talbot's romantic relationship. Thank you for meeting me here, Autumn. Of course, Talbot, you said you have something you wanted to tell me. That's right. I wanted to say that I have really enjoyed the time we have spent together recently. It has been nice going on dates with you too, Talbot. And because of how our friendship has grown, I knew that you were the only person to talk to about this. I heard that Madame Bianelle is hosting a poetry contest at Floris and Blocks, and I want to enter. That's fantastic. I know how much you enjoy poetry. I'm surprised you remember that. Of course I remember, Talbot. It's important to you. And you are also important to me too. Thank you, Talbot. But go on. Tell me more about the poetry contest. I want to hear all about it. That's the Olari, eh? So just to make sure I understand everything, the contest is a small event and at the end, Madame Vianelle will choose someone to read their poem. That's right, you are a great listener, Autumn. I think it's one of your best traits. Thank you, Davod. You have many wonderful things about you too. In fact, my favorite is your dashing looks. You always look so handsome. Thank you, Autumn. You always look fantastic too. I appreciate you sharing this with me. I know you are a bit of a loner and don't like opening up. That may be true, but you are different than everyone else. That's why I wanted to ask you to help me find inspiration for a new poem to enter into the contest. I would like to share this part of myself with you and uh, maybe it could be a romantic way to spend some time together. I can't imagine doing this with anyone but you. Where should we start then? Perhaps a change of scenery would be best to begin our poetry journey together. How about we change into our animagus form and fly on the sky? But where should we go? The sky of course. What about the lake shore? I guess that would be good too. If you want to walk that is. It's nice, quite an inspirational. That sounds exactly like what I need. But there is something I need to take care of first. Will you meet me down at the lake shore when I'm ready? Of course, I will meet you there, Tabor. Together, we will come up with some smashing poetry and continue getting to know each other even better than before. Oh, so this is the lake shore, eh? Hey there, Tabot. Wow, Talbot, I hadn't expected you to set up a picnic for us. Picnic where? Where? I want food. I hope there are a lot of desserts for me. That looks good, actually. I thought our poetry discussion could double as a date. You are quite romantic, Talbot. Only for you. I suppose this is what you meant when you said you have something to take care of first. Part of it, I also went to Floris and Bloods to learn more about the contrast. I learned that the theme of the contest is past, present and future. Interesting. Do you have any ideas? I want to write three different poems representing each part of the theme. One for past, one for present and one for future, each based on my experiences. That sounds like a fantastic idea, Tabot. Thank you for being so supportive of me. I actually haven't shared my poetry with anyone since... since... Since my mother died, I'm sorry, that must have been difficult. Did your love for poetry come from mom? Perhaps your uh, past poem could be about that. I like that idea. My mom would quote poems whenever the occasion rose. I could write about what inspired her. What should I say about the present though? Let's just enjoy ourselves for now. Perhaps if we chat, the muse of poetry will reveal herself. That sounds like a good idea. After three hours of discussing, oh, he is writing some poems, I guess. Did you get any ideas? My mom used to read poems to me all the time, especially when she was talking me into bed at night. So sweet. How cute. I can just imagine a young tabot being tucked under his covers. Ah, uh, thank you. She was also an amazing poet. That's where I got my writing spark from. It shows you are an amazing poet, Talbot. Some of your lines just now were truly fantastic. Madame Yalen and everyone else is going to love the poems when they are complete. I know I already do. Thank you, but I couldn't have started them without your help. What did I do? If only I could think of what to do right for my future poem. There is so much to consider people to be with, places to see, things to do. What would you write about? For a future poem, Autumn, maybe your answer will inspire me. 
Of course, I would write about the places I would want to see and not alone with my close friends. There are so many places to go and explore. It's lovely that you are considering a future where you will visit the places you have already wanted to go. Yes, but I think it would be even better if I had someone like you to explore with me. Perhaps my future could be just as lovely if I consider where I want to be and who I want to be with. I know you are going to figure this out and that you are going to write the best poem ever. Thank you, Adam. But I don't have much time. You are going to finish everything in time. I know you will. That means a lot, Adam. Knowing that you are supporting me, it's the best kind of feeling. Alright, stop talking now. Pass me along that cheesecake behind you, okay? I am drooling right now. I'm glad you are happy, Talbot. And to prove how much your help means, I will finish writing this last poem and submit it to the contest. I'm glad we spent this time together. Being on this journey with you has meant a lot. I'm glad too, but it's getting late and the contest is coming up. I will leave you to finish writing. I will see you at the poetry reading, okay? I can't wait to hear what you come up with. So this is the destination, eh? I hope I will be able to read my poem. This is my first poetry reading. I am not quite sure what to expect. The shop looks quite nice with all those candles. Perhaps Madame Vianel should decorate like this more often. Then it would be boring. Autumn, I'm glad you could make it. It's good to see you, Miss Ray. I'm happy to be here, Madame Vialena. And thank you for inviting me, Talbot. I hope there is food, at least desserts. I take it you were able to finish your last poem. All thanks to you, you inspired me more than I realized. Indeed, Mr. Winger's poem about the future has been selected for a reading. Really cool, the future. That's great to hear. What did you decide to write about, Talbot? I wrote about... Oh, it looks like everyone is here. Who's that? There is still a few more things left to set up. Though, will you to help me? Of course, Madam Yalena. Talbot and I will help you finish setting up. And now the decoration is done. Thank you so much for helping me finish setting up. Now it's time for the reading, Talbot. Go ahead to the front. Good luck, Tabot. Hello, I have titled this poem Future Heart. The future isn't set in stone. There are far too many possibilities. Instead, we must live into the great unknown and discover our capabilities. But sometimes my heart shouts. There is one thing for certain. Indeed, there is no room for doubts. For there is this one person. Someone who makes me smile, who sees past my quiet nature, who has been through many a trial, me and my curse breaker. Is he talking about me? That was quite unexpected. Tabot, I wait, there is something I would like to say first. I know I'm not uh, great at being romantic, but when I was thinking about my future, I realized something. I tried thinking about where I would want to be, like you suggested, but the only thing I knew was that I wanted you to be there with me. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Tabot. I have struggled before, but since meeting you, my life has gotten much brighter, and I'm looking forward to a future with you if you will help me. Dude, I am just a kid, you know, a teenager in the game. Which is why, though I know this is our little secret, I would love for you to be my girlfriend officially. Oh, and here I was so scared that you was giving me a marriage proposal or something. After choosing him, you can date anybody else. Yes, a thousand times yes. Really? Of course, Talbot. I would love nothing more than just for you to be my boyfriend. Brilliant, that's exactly what I want too. Oh, I also got something for you. Well... You are actually a good friend, you know. Is that a rope for me? It's fantastic. I love it. And we are official in the game. Yeah. Now we can fly together. Both of us are like, you know. What is that bird called again? Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.